In this video, I am going to show you how to connect your Bluehost domain to Squarespace. So please watch the video until the end and follow this tutorial step by step to avoid making mistakes. So let's get started. So to connect your Bluehost domain to your Squarespace uh, site, the first thing you want to do is start the connection in Squarespace. So you want to open the uh, domains panel. Now cl click use a domain I own and simply enter the full domain name you're connecting in the enter domain field, then click the arrow, then click connect domain. Now select Bluehost from the drop down menu and click connect domain. So in the message that appears, click continue and a new panel will open with the records to create in your Bluehost account. Now you want to log into Bluehost. So under domains, find the domain you want to connect. Now scroll down to advanced tools and click manage next to advanced DNS records. So in the advanced DNS records pop up window, click continue. Now add your first C name. So in the first line of your Squarespace DNS settings, copy the unique code uh, that appears directly below the host column. So this is the C name. So this is the preview. Now under Managed Advanced DNS Records, click Add Record. In the Type drop-down menu, select CNAME. In the Refers to drop-down menu, select Other Host. In the Host Name field, paste the unique code from the host column in your DNS settings panel. So in the Add Alias field, uh, enter verify.squarespace.com and leave the TTL at the default setting and click Save. Now you want to add the second CNAME. So again, just do the same as what you did right here. Now add a records. So in the last four lines of your Squarespace DNS settings, you'll see four IP addresses in the required data column. So in your Bluehost DNS manager, use these steps below to create the following records. So you under manage advanced DNS records, click add record. In the type drop down menu, select A. So in the host record field, enter at. And the points to field enter 198.185.159.144. Now leave the TTL at the default setting. So repeat the process three more times using this IP addresses. So this should be the preview of what you are trying to do. Now simply wait for the connection to complete. So that's it. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.